Welcome to the plus add-on tutorials. Today we're gonna demonstrate dynamic devices widget for you. There is two layout options. First one is normal and the another one is spatial carousel. You can see the example of spatial carousel over here. And first of all, let's discuss about the normal layout. You have the different options to choose from mobile, tablet, laptop and desktop. For example, you have various mobile options available here. Then you need to select the image which will be in the area in between the mobile device. Right? You have the different dimension options available here. For example, if you consider this iPhone minimal white you have the size of 320 and 564. You need to go to any aspect ratio calculator. So you can put the 320 width and 564 height. Now, if you have any image with a higher dimension, for example, if you want to put the width around 900, if you are using that device on a big bigger screen or something then you have to crop your image with 900 and height 1586 so that would be your aspect ratio for this device so you have to crop it out and put this size to get perfect result over here right then you have the option for the link and you can open it in a pop-up as well if you choose the pop-up or link you have the icon option you can select any icon for this if you want to hide icon you can do that as well and if you upload icon you have the icon options in the style tab where you can put any continuous effect on the icon including drop waves on hover drop waves you can select if you want those effect only on hover or on the continuous and then you have the, all the color options as per the styling of the animation you can select the icon radius and then you have option for the icon size then you have the device layout option if you want to increase the height or width as per your needs, you can do it from here. You have the margin options, you have the padding options for the device. Then you have the device background options in which you have the box head option, which you can select for the normal and the whole condition. Then you have the on scroll view animation. And in advanced tab, you have all the plus extras options. For the plus extra, you can see our another video where we have explained each and every uh, features of plus extras over there. Now let's get back to the, our main layout option from which we can select the special carousel layout as well. For that, let's see this example. When you select the special carousel example, you have the type which is mobile right now then you have the device option over here and this is the size 500 by 890 so again you need to put here 500 by 980 so if you want to increase the width or something and based is 500 width and 980 you can keep this size as well but if you want to make the width 600 or uh, suppose 800 then you have to increase the height as well so all depends on you and you can add multiple images over here then you have the carousel options when you select the special carousel in the styling you have the carousel options from there you can select the carousel columns for the single slide or the multiple if you put the single slide it will be only inside the device like you can select something like this 
but if you select the multiple it will be like a carousel with the different columns you have the option for the infinite loop you can enable or disable you have the autoplay option if you enable it you have the autoplay op options available so it will be automatically changing the slide speed then in the carousel slide you have the option for the slide gap so you can increase the gap as per the needs you can adjust slide space you have the carousel width once you change it it will automatically set by itself then you have the box shadow hover box shadow option slider opacity and this opacity is for the extra slides which are not active at that moment you have the slide scale option for those not active you can have a slide a hover opacity as well right for example if you put the 0.5 or 0.1 it will be something like this and on hover you can select it to 0.8 then when you hover on that you can see the difference like this so you can manage a special carousel like this and all the other options will be same as the normal layout so if you have any other question write us on the comment box below hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial on dynamic devices subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this do check all the related links in the description below thanks for watching and keep crafting amazing websites See you in the next video.